Canadian contemporary artist. Um, I work in uh, England, uh, York, England, and I make elaborate uh, sculptures made of cardboard, uh, inspired by packaging design uh, and based on uh, anthropological and archaeological themes. Um, this sculpture is called Vision in a Dream, um, and it's my newest uh, sculpture to date. Um, it's, I bring together lots of pieces um, uh, from the present and the past and from around the world um, in terms of inspirations. Uh, I've got elements from the Blue Mosque uh, in Istanbul, uh, the, um, the pyramids from the Louvre, uh, as well as the pyramids of Cheops. I also draw together a lot of iconography uh, from the present and from the past, including um, a lot of, sort of lottery symbols uh, which represent luck and fortune, um, a Mesopotamian iconography, as well as a lot of Egyptian graphics. The, the artwork is uh, based on the idea of figures uh, wanting to uh, sort of ascend um, uh, towards the top. So you have um, graphics derived from the, um, the Tower of Babel uh, towards the bottom of the figure. And if you look across uh, the piece, you can see people struggling to uh, achieve this, uh, the height at the top of the, the sculpture, which is where all the gold um, and the, the really ornate elements are. Um, and uh, as they reach the head, you sort of get a sense of um, a foreboding of danger as um, figures uh, often derive from uh, mythological um, as well as um, heraldic forms, uh, such as on flags and shields, that seem to protect the head from uh, people being able to ascend to the top, which is a, a created as like a kind of paradise space. This piece is inspired by um, a lot of sort of anthropological and archaeological figures. I saw um, some figures in the uh, British Museum related to ancient Japanese statues, also uh, the sort of African sculptural elements. Um, and I bring them all together um, in a, as a way to kind of mix different times and different places in history together. This figure, I wanted him to appear a little bit menacing, almost a little bit scary in the way that lots of statues were there to protect or to uh, scare away people from uh, the sacred places. I've created the head as a sort of sacred cell. Inside it, there is a, a sort of golden cube. The golden cube uh, is, is like a prized possession in the middle of the sculpture. There's figures around the wall um, uh, in what is kind of like a, a sacred space. The figures are taken from the Chrysler Building in New York. Um, it was called, I believe it was the Sky Lounge. And it was, of course, a place where the rich would collect and sort of visit and meet. So I liked this idea of creating something that was both ancient and new, um, mixing luxury uh, and wealth, um, which I felt was a bit of a commentary about, of course, what people are trying to achieve often in life. They want to be rich, they want to be famous. So it, all of the figures in this whole work appear to be trying to reach this, this place. Um, and as you can see on, especially on the back, sometimes they fail. Um, uh, but there's a, a sense that the piece is all about people trying to succeed and, and therefore it reflects life in general uh, and the struggle to succeed. Well, I, uh, I do a lot of work in Turkey uh, with archaeologists and so I, I've been to Istanbul several times over the course of that. And I, I just, I was always found that the shape of the Blue Mosque was very uh, intriguing to me. I always liked the minarets, and I wanted to find a way to combine those with um, figurative elements. And so this, this picture brings both architectural and figurative human forms together. The head is based on the Louvre pyramid designed by IMK. Also, of course, Egyptian pyramids. Um, Inside the head, there's uh, Egyptian symbolism as well, uh, but you, you get a sense of the temple down there and another kind of temple above. Almost a more primitive style of temple uh, down in the center, um, whereas uh, these have a, a, a slight more sense of a contemporary temple. Um, uh, but, but overall, you, you sense a, like a kind of a beginning and not necessarily an ending, but a, a paradise zone that people are trying to achieve. I was really interested in the paintings of David Hockney, 
because he often tries to combine um, often sort of medieval or Renaissance imagery into very contemporary paintings. He uh, took a, a painting from uh, Piero della Francesco uh, relating to the nativity scene and turned it into a, a Californian scene. I took that same iconography and made it uh, kind of um, both a, perhaps a manger but also the summit of this sort of golden temple. And for me, it was a, a reference to the, sort of the Garden of Eden and uh, the place where, um, I, I believe in the Quran, uh, there is a, uh, in the, at the beginning, sort of Adam is shown where to build the first temple based on where a meteorite landed. This meteorite was then discovered and placed into uh, a, a cube, which is at uh, the center of Mecca, and that people are meant to walk around 